Dear supporters of Innovate 2030, uh, I would like to emphasize that we as Uber, and I am personally as, a, as, as the president of Uber, the German Environment Agency, I am supporting your initiative because from my perspective the sustainability transformations on the one hand side and the digital transformations on the other hand side, these are the two main and most important drivers of fundamental societal and economic change in our societies. Many reports are demonstrating that innovation in the field of digitalization, artificial intelligence, digital twins, machine learning, all these technological changes could help us to get, get a green economy, a transformation towards a sustainable society, much more rapidly forward than we could do without these technologies. This implies that digitalization could be one of the most important enablers for the disruptions needed to get a sustainability transformation done. On the other hand side, we also know that if we don't govern these processes, digitalization could also drive even faster processes of, of unsustainable growth of unsustainable, un unsustainable development, of unsustainable production and consumption patterns. So there is no automatism mm. between digitalization on the one hand side and transformation towards sustainability on the other hand side. We have to bring these two mega trends together. And this is actually what you are having in mind in your initiative Innova Innovate 2030. You can really make a difference and can contribute to the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. When I reflect about SDGs and implementation strategies for the 17 SDGs, which is a huge and complex thing, I do have actually at the end of the day in mind five main transformation arenas. And those are the following. We need transformation towards sustainability in the energy sector, decarbonization, climate protection. We need transformation in the mobility sector and in our cities and this is also about decarbonization, climate protection and of course human well-being. We then have to look at our land use systems, agriculture and food systems and again it's about climate change but also biodiversity production, biodiversity stabilization and healthy ecosystems. And then the fourth element is our industries and our consumption patterns. And here circularity is very important. Circularity implies that we drive material flows and resource flows, is, uh, flows in circles. And the fifth and largest center then of gravity when it comes to human-centered development is that we have to focus investments and transformation processes on human development. This is on education. This is on health, this is on social justice and fairness. So these are the five major fields and arenas for transformations to implement the SDGs. And then to make these transformations happen, we have several enablers of transformations. One is innovation, technology. How can digitalization help us to get the transformations towards sustainability done in the five arenas I mentioned? A second very important point is obviously that to make these transformations happen, governance, incentives, policy frameworks are very important. And lastly, but very importantly so, the interaction between science, society, policy makers, private sectors and the non-governmental organizations and civil society organizations are very relevant to make real progress. So this is the background against which you are developing now sustainable solutions from a digital perspective. And to make your suggestions, to make your recommendations important and to make them heard, they should be as concrete as possible. This should be solutions which, are, which you can scale up. So it should not be only solutions for very specific cases. Look for solutions which could be scaled up and which could be of importance in many sectors or in many contexts. And if you are looking for these kind of solutions, please always have in mind that the combination between technological innovations, governance mechanisms and incentive schemes, and human behavior and human behavioral change, the combination of these elements is what makes things important. 
Only innovation in a technological perspective will not help us to get the sustainability transformations done, which we are thinking about. And let me add the last element, which is of importance to make your suggestions and recommendations as powerful as possible. It is important for people to be motivated for change, to think about and reflect upon attractive futures. So please don't not only look for technical solutions for something. Think about techn technical solutions, digital innovations and attractive futures. Better livelihoods, well-being. This is what people, this is what we all are at, actually at the end of the day interested in. So I hope you will have fun during your workshops, your conferences, your deliberations, your reflection processes towards sustainable solutions in a digital age. And remember, we are in a very exciting historical period. We might have a very good, good chance to get these two main transformations of our age together, sustainability transformations and the digital transformations. And I'm relatively sure, I'm really sure actually, that your ideas will be heard. The time is open and the doors are open to get these kind of information done. So, creativity, enthusiasm and looking towards attractive futures is what you can contribute to. Thank you very much.